right. And, uh, you know, Sabrina could just as easily have made it to the first team. She's that good a defender. As Queens get a great ball. chance in front. And went off the foot of the Queens Gale striker right into the hands of the goalkeeper, Megan Girardi. Yeah. Oh, nice play there by the Queens winger. She's going to cut in. Beats another player. And ball comes across. Very well taken by Megan. And well held by the keeper. Well held. Number six has got some craft. She yeah, we'll been lever. able to She's step been around players. Wool Lever's cutting in and good shot. Megan Girardi there makes a nice and save. I mean, um, you'll hear when you go down to the States, you'll hear them say, as Megan Girardi comes out, makes a great, She's great, out great the box. job. That's for Here's sure. a chance. There's Boyle. Here's a chance. Here's a chance. Oh, 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 the crossbar. Fantastic Unlucky. opportunity for Unlucky. Amanda Boyle. Try and she's been left alone. She's just going to run at the Mustang defense. And Megan Girardi uh -oh, makes uh -oh, his first uh -oh. save. Unlucky. But the uh, Unlucky. rebound is put into the box. and uh, Queens played a ball that bounced off Megan Girardi's hands right onto the boot of a Queens player who wasted no time in burying it in the, in the bottom of the net. Good play. Smart. Megan Girardi called her off and said, don't, don't, don't. Oh, no. Uh, she waited too long to hit it. And that's going to be number 12. Too long to hit it. Again. Martilla Skoko. And that'll be the ball game, folks. It's tricky and it's, you know, there's only so much you can game plan for. Like they had some really dynamic individuals that caused us a lot of problems um, up front. Yeah, and, and actually, the second half, I thought we did a much better job of neutralizing it. Unfortunately, a couple mistakes and they took advantage of them. Well, we changed, changed tactics a little bit. Um, and I thought second half, our effort was excellent. It just, you know, but effort doesn't win games, execution does. And, and unfortunately, you know, there's a couple plays we didn't execute on um, on both ends of the field. We weren't able to score, and they were. So that's that's how soccer works. Um, especially being a fifth-year player, it's, this was going to be my, one of my last games. So definitely really proud of all the girls. Um, we have really good friends with some of them, and we've had a lot of success in the past. Unfortunately, we came a little short today, but the future looks good for Western. So really proud of the whole team, and hopefully the younger girls can get a better result next year. Um, definitely really big game for Megan Girardi. It's hard coming in as a first year player, especially in playoffs. Um, but I thought she did really well. She's very composed and um, as I said before, the future looks bright. So I think she'll be a very big part of the team moving forward. You know, I'm really proud of the team this season and, and over the past four seasons. We've had a lot of fourth year players this year. You know, this is their last year and they're graduating and, and moving on. So, you know, I'm very proud of all those fourth and a couple fifth year players and what they've done, you know, and for our younger players, it's time to think about what we can do a little bit better and, and improve for next year. Yeah, it's been a great experience. Um, it's been a pleasure to um, come up with all these girls and obviously go to nationals a few times with them. Playing for Marty has been a great experience as well. So a lot of great memories here and uh, definitely had a really great time.